What's poppin' YouTube? It's Grizzly Sculpt 950 here with an end of the year upload for you guys. Hope you guys had a happy holiday. Going into the new year, you guys probably thought I wasn't gonna upload. Well, here it is, my end of the year upload. Today, I'm gonna be doing some Pokemon Let's Go and Pokemon Showdown. I really wanted to do like Wi Fi content on the channel, but still have yet to get myself a capture card. But I am playing every bit of Let's Go. A little bit every day at least because the game is just so amazing it has this addictive quality to it especially <laughs> when you're grinding Pokemon up to level 100 and all that so this is just a team I assembled for uh, OU it's I don't think the, any of the tiers have been reasonably established but I think we pretty much know how it's going to be like stuff like probably like Mewtwo and stuff or I, I'm not sure if Mewtwo is legal in this uh, I haven't seen any while I was laddering up to see if the team works, but yeah, I got Mega Beedrill team here, you know, standard set, you know, dual stab, U-turn, get on out, drill run for coverage and outrage so I don't get walled by like Dragonite and Golbat or something, never seen Golbat, and then you have this boy who is still yet to have an icon here. Mel Metal, oh, oh, I hate Pokemon Go. I really want to have this guy in my game, but you know, at least we can use him here. You know, Double Iron Bash, Earthquake, Thunder Wave for switches, and then Ice Punch. This guy is strong, going to put in a lot of work, and I just have like a bold Zapdos. I could run Timid, but I want to see what bold does. I know like everything like base 100 runs Timid just so they can speed type with all the other base 100s and slower stuff, so. Rocker, ride on, you know, I just put uh, Dragon Tail here because I don't know what else to, I guess I could run like, do I have fire? I don't have any fire coverage on this team, so there, fire punch. So <laughs> I don't get blown away by like grass types who switch in. Uh, we have a uh, set up, bulk up, polyrath with ice punch, probably a little redundant with Melmetal having Actually, I could put Thunder... Nah, nah, I'll, I'll keep Ice Punch on Melmetal for now at least. And then I just wanted some extra speed. So I brought in a Zam, you know, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, and... Oh, uh, I really... I'm, I'm actually going to put Substitute. I don't need Recover. I'm just going to go Sub, you know, as they switch out their Needle King or whatever. I'm just going to go for Sub and we'll see what we can do. Alright, so without further ado, let's find ourselves a battle. Let me pause it real quick till we get ourselves one. Oh, no, I have to pause it. Alright, let me just put that time. Oh, okay, there's the timer. So, oh, Mew. We have ourselves a Mew. What's uh, it's a Mel Metal. Well, uh, I kind of just want to. I'm going to just lead over right on. Oh, this Mew has taunt. Snap. Uh, I think I'm gonna just go for rocks anyway. Yep, yep, I knew it. They always run taunt Mew. Mew, even in Let's Go, is still forced into that defensive role. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna be aggressive. I'm gonna go out to Al Alakazam as he get up his rocks. And let me just go for sub. What is Mew really gonna do to Alakazam? I mean, let's be honest. Yeah, you're going to switch. I'm going to get off some damage on his Zabados right here. Oh, uh, yes. He's going to go on to Melmetal. I should... I should... No, I'm just going to go for... You know, I'm going to predict Melmetal. I'm going for... Ooh. He stayed in. He go for... He went for Drill Pack. Ooh, yikes. Uh, Well, Rhydon can come in. He should U-turn right now. Because Rhydon really just comes in. Nope. He just... He just... <laughs> I mean, Alakazam's are behind the sub. You're probably just going to go for the attack. So, yep. I don't know why I typed in PP. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was trying to pause the recording. Um, all right, so Venusaur is in. I got my rocks. Okay. Melmetal looks good here right now. Yeah, I'm just going to Melmetal. And just going for that. Uh, probably. Yep, yep. Uh, I don't think he wants to stay in. Would he go into Zapdos? Because I kind of want to go for the Thunder Wave. I could go for Ice Punch predicting it. Uh, No, let's just let's just bash. Yeah. I don't know why you decided to stay in. when You you could even gone into your own Melmetal or even Zapdos. Because that's like Double Iron Bash is free. Okay. So Leech Seed is up. I don't want that. I'm just going to Zapdos. He could go for Double Leech. 
because I really shouldn't stay in here and let this Venusaur just recover on me because that's all he has. Sleep Sheet is the only way to recover outside of like rest, no synthesis in this game. As far as I can tell, the only reliable recovery move is Roost and Soft Boiled from Clefable. I do believe Clefable gets the Soft Boiled. Now here's a scenario where I wish I had the draw pack but I don't really think he's going to stay in so I think I'm just going to Roost. Yep, I'm going to Roost as he goes on to the Melmetal. Alright, now I feel like I'm going to go for the U-turn out into Rhydon and just... Actually, I... yeah, I'm going to go U-turn out into Rhydon. Melmetal can't really do much here. I mean, he could have the Ice Punch. I don't... Uh, my Melmetal is at a lower percentage, so I would probably lose. I don't know, it just depends on his. Yeah, he predicted me. But, the good thing is, I outspeed, and I feel like I can go for... Uh, I don't want to Earthquake. He has he has a Dragonite. Uh, I'm going for Rock Slide. Oh, he stays in. Why? Earthquake would have done a ton of damage, but that's okay because I can bring in Polyrath and it's time. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like going for that bulk up. Yep, here comes Venusaur. Yep. Sack the Venusaur because you can't... You can, I mean, let me see. You probably outspeed me. That's the thing. Oh man, I know I should probably switch here. He's going. For, he didn't sleep powder. Okay, I I don't think it was. I mean, if this doesn't kill, okay, it killed. Polyrath got a kill. I know in hindsight I should have switched out to Melmetal. Oh, he could have made a double out into his own Melmetal. But Mew is here. I don't feel like. Uh, do I? Do I even need? I don't really think. No, Polyrath doesn't really outspeed anything. I mean, it is. Like my only way of dealing with Melmetal at this point, I don't. Uh, I feel like going into. Uh, this Mew can't touch my Melmetal. I mean, Will O Wisp, whatever. Like Psychic, yeah, yeah. Melmetal is like the primary Psychic switching, and I can just go for. Uh, this time I just want to go for. Uh, would he? S no, I'm going for Earthquake. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Like, I'm pretty much sacking this so I can bring in my, uh, Alakazam. And then I'll go for another substitute. Alright. Yeah, I know I could've, I could've played my Melmetal, but Melmetal's, Melmetal's done the work, you know? Did what I need to do. Weaken the Mew. Uh, pressure the Venusaur, so now I can go out to Zam. And, well, I'm going for the sub again. You do not like this Pokemon at all. Psychic doesn't even break this up. Oh, this is where you wish leftovers were in the game, but it's not. All right, there goes Mew. I think he has to go into uh yeah Zapdos on rocks. Dude, do I just? There's no way I just sweep him, right? Did I just win? No, he's gonna break. Oh, he's gonna roost. Imagine if I was Calm Mind without Dazzling Gleam. I would just win right now if I have Calm Mind over anything. So that's interesting that he decided to. Uh, roost rather than drill pack because if I was calm mind you would have been in some trouble because now Well, I don't even think I one shot Gengar if he wants to bring it in it could be his mega because he didn't mega evolve with the Venusaur so oh I might just lose to this Gengar though if he's mega Gengar. Oh, this is where I wish I had Well, I don't really have any answers to this. I mean Beedrill I guess if, as long as I don't miss Drill Run, I think I'm going to go out into uh, this guy. I don't need this. I feel Alakazam can still do something. Okay, now we go out into Beedrill. Mega Evolve. And I really should U-turn predicting the... Yo, what if I Outrage right now? Predicting... Oh, I'm doing it. Well, Outrage will probably still- Yep, yep, he doesn't know. Yep, yep, I'm running Outrage. Goodbye, Dragonite. No extreme speed, no multi-scale. Not that that would matter. Oh, yo, I kind of just want to- Oh, I'm locked. Oh, crap. Well, it's okay. This was still- Oh, that did zero. Uh, that's the risk of running Outrage, but... Yeah, now I think I can go out into- uh, the Zap Zapdos is bold. Oh, man. I think I lost. Yeah. Me I totally fluked on that Mega Gengar, unfortunately. But I feel like I played well. At least towards the beginning portion. Yeah. 
<laughs> let's go. Let's get out of here. It's okay, guys. Um, fair warning. I should have said um, I'm not like the best at battling. I hardly do this. I haven't been on showdown for like a minute. So, yeah, I'm still getting adjusted to this. So, uh, this time we have. Is that a? Is that just a? That's not a. Is that starter Pikachu? Oh gosh. Oh, what do I do here? Oh, I don't. Here's that freaking Aerodactyl. I can't leave right on. You know what? I'm gonna predict the arrow and just you know, I should go for U-turn, but I don't really see a Thunderbolt switching. Mega. Yep. All right. So now, uh, does he one-shot me with anything though? Right on. Right on can come in. Yeah, I can bring in my right on. See if he has to taunt. I think it's worth it because Rock Slide is doing nothing. Okay, if you have taunt, you go for it now. Nope. Okay. Imagine if I earthquake right there. I was never going to make that play. I'll definitely Rock Slide though. Yep. No, just don't miss. Yeah, get him out of here. So now this gives him Mel. Well, not Melmo. It gives him the um, Lola Executor. Yep. Okay, so this thing can do a lot of stuff. Uh, let's see. But Melmetal, Melmetal really just, I think this, I think he does get like Fire Blast or Earthquake or something. So I feel like I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave because, yep, he shouldn't stay in there. We like to run Ice Punch. All right, so his Melmetal is paralyzed. I'm going to go for Earthquake. Nice forty five percent get fully parrot. Yeah, there you go. Oh, do I do I go for ice punch predicting it? Nah, he should sack this. This paralyzed. It, it's not really doing anything for him. Yeah. Okay. So in case he wants to switch, I'm gonna go for double iron bash. I don't know why he would switch, but he didn't switch. All right. So Melmetal, you know, you know, you just a type of Pokemon you just bring in and you just do damage. You know, even if it does go down, it just it just punches holes, especially when you're running adamant like mine. So here's the freaking Pikachu that's gonna go for a splishy splash. I, I kind of want to. Do I have any reason to save this? Nah, I'm just going for earthquake. Yeah, he's he support. So I'm guessing he's gonna go on to Alakazam. You think I'm not going to? Um, oh shoot, he could be sub. You know what? Nope. You went for a sidekick over, I don't know if that was the play. That was your win con and you kind of just threw it away. I don't know why you thought sidekick was going to do like whatever, what, 30% I was at. So, <laughs> no, my model get two. Imagine if he missed a power whip. If he had earthquake, he should have gone for that. Talking like I know how to play Pokemon. Okay. All right. So, Polyrath can come in here and I think I just win with Ice Punch. I don't think Zapdos can one-shot me with Thunderbolt. Polypath is pretty healthy, boy. So we'll have to see. Yo, this is a good game. All right. There goes the Executor. Okay, it looks like I feel like we can get another game. I wanna, I don't want to go like over 20 minutes, so I feel like one game. Yeah, I knew I would take that. Oh, yes, it's okay. Light screen is down. And then I can just go out into Beedrill. Mega Evolve, and it is going to be a. I could also Mega Evolve with Zam, but <laughs> I mean, that's probably like the only chance I'll have to use it because if you have Beedrill on your team, there's no way you're not going to Mega. That's the thing. So, yep. So, I'm climbing. <laughs> I say I'm climbing because I didn't even get to 1100 yet. Let's just go into. So, we're one for one. Yeah, let's see if we get one more game. Yo, I'm. I'm can't. If you guys can tell, I'm hyped. I know. <laughs> this is just exciting for me. Oh, I really wish I could record on uh, on Wi-Fi. All right. Oh, okay. Now this for sure is Eevee. This is the starter Eevee with the sappy seed and all that that uh, support stuff. So uh, uh, I like Zapdos. Honestly, I can U-turn out on anything that isn't this, really, because well, I'm not running Tim. Okay. You know what? I don't like this thing. I'm going to toxic U-turn one because this thing's annoying. Even though I have a Pyrath, I know, let's, he, oh, he predict, okay, there's this, okay, Sappy C, all right. So, if he has the move that restores uh, status, he's going to go for that, probably. So, I feel like just going out into Rhydon and getting up rocks, because I really do not appreciate 
Uh, yeah, that's okay. Sizzly slides burn me. That's fine. You don't have taunt, and <laughs> you're not gonna do any damage to me. Yeah, you do that. Okay. Right on. Did what it had to do. Got up the rocks. Now I'm just gonna go for earthquake. Even though he has like a bajillion switchins. There goes the sappy seed. That's fine. Cause honestly, I can just go out into polywrath and honestly, I should bulk up. Okay, sappy seed. That did a lot. That's that's that was probably. I think I just misplayed with the sappy seed. I should have just gone for superpower. Cause now, how am I gonna defeat this thing? Oh, I don't know why I went for bulk up. That was not the play. I should have gone for superpower. This thing's a threat. I underestimate the power of this Eevee. We went for Buzzy Buzz. Oh no, 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 no. Oh yes, we got rid of that monster. That's all that matters. But now I think I kind of lose to um, Aerodactyl. Okay, um, I'm gonna go for Waterfall. He should probably go for, I don't think he'll go for rocks. He went for rocks, hoping for a paralysis. Okay. So he got up his rocks. That's good. Polyrath claiming two kills. Nice. Gengar is here. That's why I have B drill. So I mean, this guy has like the same team as the other guy. I just realized, except for like he has an Eevee. So it's the same. I don't really want to. Can Gengar really Oko Melmetal? No, he can't. There's no way. There's no way in heck. So I'm gonna go for this. Because you're not staying in. Oh, Mew is in. Alright. Look at that damage. Oh, now I think he wants to will with me. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play with this. I kinda like Melmetal in this matchup. Ooh, making the double. He wanted to predict the um he wasn't predicting me to switch, he was predicting me to go for another double iron bash. Alrighty. Well, uh honestly. I'm just going to go back into my own Melmetal. Mono a mono. Let's see what we can make out of this. Double Iron Bash. Alright. Okay, this time I'm going to go for Thunder Wave. That's my play. I'm sticking with it. Get full parrot here. Earthquake. Okay. He's paralyzed. He might switch. He didn't. Oh, he's going to get paralyzed, dude. Yep. I don't think he switches. Does he switch? Does he really need this when it's paralyzed? I don't know. I'm going for Earthquake. I know we can go out into... Uh, Dragonite, but he's, he's risking the Ice Punch there, so I think like his best play is to just stay in here. I feel, sack this, then, yeah, well, not really sack it, because I'll go down first, obviously, unless he gets paralyzed, but we'll just have to see what happens. Ooh, to Tony. Alright, um, yeah, I, I don't know, I feel like Beedrill really puts in the work, like, I can Oko this, the, um, Gengar, Mew, and Dragonite, but the problem is I don't want to lock myself in that Outrage, because then he can just switch, this is why I'm hoping he sacks this, so I don't have to worry about Outrage, you know, him going out into this, and then I get trapped, and he kills me with Earthquake, like what happened in the first battle, yeah, that's what I want to avoid at all costs, but we'll just have to see what he does. He's taking some time to decide his move. I think he should just, uh, I mean, he, he can stay in for one more turn. He lives whatever I go, unless I get like high roll or like a crit or something. He should just probably stay in, but we'll see. Oh, don't tell me he's going to time out. If he times out, <laughs> I'm ending the live. I'll count that as my second win and we'll just call it a day. Uh, so yeah, I feel like using, I feel like I might have to switch this team around. I feel like I have too much of a weakness to like, Ride on, like, look at my Edgequake weakness. Like, I don't really appreciate Earthquake aside from like Zapdos. So, maybe I have like another answer to like ground types. I don't know. I just that's why I put the polygraph on the team because water fighting is so good. I don't know. Some people feel like fighting types are not good, but when there's Pokemon like Snorlax and stuff around, yeah, they're always gonna have okay. Now, I'm gonna go for the no, <laughs> there's no reason. I'm going for Earthquake. He's not switching, you don't switch here. Yeah, okay, so he can go out into uh, anything, really. I don't care. I'm just bringing in Beedrill. Yep, Dragonite. I'm going... Ooh. Yeah, I'm going for the Ice Punch. He locks himself... He didn't even kill. He, <laughs> he didn't even kill, so... I'm guessing maybe he thought that since he was adamant... Nah, bro. My metal is just too bulky. So now Beedrill just wins, honestly. Um, if I... It's actually, do I even have to risk that? 
Oh, hold on. He should mega evolve right now. Do I even have to risk Vidro going for the outrage? Uh, I think I don't know what. Okay, so this guy is apparently not <laughs> that good of a player. But who am I to talk? I completely just messed up the last battle. Uh, all right. So that's GG. Um, this is the low ladder guy. So like, yeah, he calmed mine when I have four. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I don't throw up the GGs. All right. So yeah, that's the end of this video, guys. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed this, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna use this team. Might make some changes, but definitely look forward for me posting a video in the next couple of days. Wish you guys happy holidays, happy New Year, all that, guys. All that jazz. Thank you guys very much for watching. And have yourselves a good one. Peace out.